Hello, and welcome to this project, where I will demonstrate using the Bootstrap Responsive Off Canvas component to create a vertical navigation in a sidebar. Vertical navigation is very useful when there are lots of menu items that do not fit in a standard horizontal navigation bar. Another advantage of a vertical sidebar is that the menu items can contain longer, more descriptive texts. When it comes to smaller screens, the sidebar can be hidden so that it does not crowd the design. In this case, the user can choose to show or hide the menu items. Here I start with a node project complete with a layout page, index page, an about page, and a contact page. If you are using a different server, then, don't worry, the same workflow is applicable. Just follow along. First, I add a container with the usuals. A row and a column. I duplicate the column so that I have a sidebar and a main content area. The advantage in using a node project, the main content is dynamically placed inside the layout page. All I need to do is to give it a position within the page. For this I drag the content container into the second column. Now to size the columns. Being a mobile first framework, I go to the smallest screen size, and set the second column to a size of 12. This pushes the first column to the top. Then I select a larger screen size, where I set the column size to 9. This moves the first column to the left. Inside the first column, I place the off-canvas component. I give it an ID. and select Responsive Large. Inside the off-canvas header, I select the Close button. This is set to recognize the newly created off-canvas component. Inside the off-canvas body, I first remove the current paragraph. This is replaced by a row and a column. Inside the column, I add a navigation bar. Don't worry about it being above the main content area, I will fix this as we go. I select the navigation bar and remove the navbar brand and toggler. These are not required here. Then I grab the container holding the navigation items, and drag it out of the collapse region. The collapse region is removed. As you have noticed, the menu items are aligned horizontally. This is because of the navbar expand class. When I remove this class, the menu items are aligned vertically. Let us have a look at what has happened in a smaller screen size. Here we see that the off-canvas component is visible. This is because the navigation bar has been selected. If I deselect the navigation bar, the off-canvas component disappears. This is the normal behavior for the component. This means that there has to be a button to show the off-canvas when it is required by the user. For this, I am going to make use of the bootstrap nav bar toggler. It has the exact behavior that I am looking for. I go ahead and select the blocks menu. where I select Navigation, and one of the Navigation blocks. Now, I do not need any of the Navigation items in this part of the page. I select the Collapse area, and delete it. Then, I select the Nav Bar Toggler button and change the Toggler action from a Collapse to the Off-Canvas component. What is left? This is to link the navigation items to their respective pages. But before I do that, have a look at the ARIA attribute. This still points to the navbar collapse region. This should now read, off canvas navigation. I go ahead and copy the off canvas ID and paste it into the value of the ARIA attribute.
Now the links to the pages. Save the file and we are done. Testing shows that celebrations are called for. But wait! In my other videos, I have usually placed the content inside a main element. This was to make it easier for me to style the page. Actually, the main element carries far more important information. Most importantly, there may be only one main area in a page. The main area allows assistive technology to skip sections of repeated content like navigation and footers. This allows access to the main content faster. The main area also assists in search engine optimization to quickly determine the message that the page conveys. So, let me now add the main element and move the page content inside it. And that is it. I hope that this video has been of use to you.